All right, go ahead and hit open and boom shakalaka. Hi guys, it's Max from HotOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Pixel or Pixel 2 XL. Sorry, Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. I've already rooted uh, my Pixel. It took me maybe 10 minutes. Let me show you how to do it. All very easy to do. Now, before I begin, unlocking your bootloader will erase everything. And that's part of the requirements of doing this. So back up everything you begin before you begin. Otherwise, you might cry. I don't want you guys to cry. So before we begin, back up everything. This will work on both Pixel or Pixel 2 XL. And this is the easiest root method, fastest root method. Um, so first thing you want to do um, is go into settings, go into system, go into about phone. Um, this will probably work on future versions also. It works on Oreo, um, but do check with me if you're not sure, if you're maybe on Android 9.0, go ahead and tweet me at, at Z-E-D-O-M-A-X and I'll give you a straight answer. But this should work on all the Oreo versions at least. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and hit, tap the build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer, all right? Once it says you're a developer, go ahead and hit the back button and you should have a new menu button called developer options. All right, make sure OEM unlocking is checked on just like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and power off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit down volume down, volume down, and the power button until we get into fast boot mode. All right, you'll see on Android, something like that. It will say, device state locked. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and connect it to your computer. Now you can use Windows, Mac, or Linux. For Mac or Linux, um, go ahead and use the substitute commands I'll, as I'll be using Windows. Okay, next guys, what you wanna do is go to highonandroid.com and go under rooting and go to Turb recovery. And you will need uh, fastboot.zip, go ahead and download this. Go ahead and download Windows USB drivers if you're using Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, you can still follow this tutorial. I'll have substitute commands you gotta type, all right? Um, also, you'll need Majisk, all right? Make sure you grab this version of Majisk. It's 14.5. This is the beta version that works, all right? And also, you'll need either Pixel 2 Torp recovery image, this one, and the Torp 2 recovery uh, zip, or you'll need Pixel 2 XL Torp Recovery image and Pixel 2 XL Torp Recovery um, zip. Now in this video, since I'm doing Pixel 2 XL, I'm gonna go ahead and download those two. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now all the download links um, are at the end. Go ahead and go down to the end and simply click here to download. Once you have downloaded all the five files, you're ready to go. Um, go into your downloads folder, all right? Um, you should have downloaded uh, for Pixel to Excel, Timon, um, these two files, Twerp Recovery Image and the zip file, also Magis, Fastboot, USB drivers. That's the five files you need for Pixel to Excel. Now, if you have Pixel 2, you should have downloaded the Walleye version for Twerp, and everything else stays the same. Go ahead and unzip, double click on fastboot.zip and extract all files and you will get a folder called Fastboot, all right, with all the files you need here for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Also, go ahead and um, unzip USB underscores. Go ahead and extract all files. You will also get a folder called USB underscore driver. All right, those two you should have unzipped. Also, go ahead and copy the image file. If you have Pixel 2 XL, it's this one. Or if you have regular Pixel 2, go ahead and copy um, this image file, all right? for Pixel 2 XL, since I'm using Pixel 2 XL, go ahead and copy and paste into the fastboot directory, just like that. All right, next, you'll need to update the USB drivers. Go ahead and open up Device Manager on your Windows computer if you're using Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, again, you do not need drivers. If you don't know how to open Device Manager, please go Google it. All right, you'll see this Android with exclamation mark. If you don't have the driver installed, if you probably don't, go ahead and double click on it. Go to update driver. Make sure you follow these instructions um, exactly. Go to browse my computer for driver software. All right, next go ahead and pick, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Pick show all devices, hit next, and go into have disk. Go into browse, 
and go into your download folder and go ahead and go into the USB underscore driver folder that you unzip the files to. Choose Android underscore winusb.inv, hit okay, okay. And you should see Android bootloader interface. Go ahead and hit next. And this will install the proper drivers and you are now ready to go. So it should say Android bootloader interface. Next, you're gonna go ahead and open a command prompt. Go into start search and type CMD. Oh, sorry. Next, you're gonna go ahead and type CD down downloads like that. Now, this is the part where you're gonna have different commands for Mac or Linux. Go ahead and follow the substitute on my website. All right, next, you're gonna go ahead and type CD fastboot like that. And next we're gonna do fastboot space flashing unlock. This will unlock your bootloader, erase everything on your phone. So when you guys are ready, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Ready, set, go. All right, you'll see on your phone, you can go ahead and choose unlock the bootloader using the volume keys, um, or maybe you should be able to press it, no. Go ahead and hit the power key and you've just unlocked your bootloader and go ahead and hit start. It should actually reboot uh, automatically, but for some reason it didn't. Now you will get this warning screen every time you boot now. This is just because you rooted your phone. Um, don't worry about it. It's just gonna show and it's just gonna boot. Now everything will get erased. It will start over from scratch. So I will be back when this is done. This should take about a minute or a few minutes. Let it boot all the way and... Okay guys, once rebooted, go ahead and sign in. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip everything. Okay guys, once signed in, go ahead and connect it to your computer as a storage device. Make sure it's on transfer files. Next, you're gonna go back to your computer Next, you're gonna go back to your computer and you're gonna go ahead and copy over the twerp zip file. This is the one starting with twerp and ending in zip. All right, for Pixel 2, it's the Timon uh, twerp zip file. If you have a uh, regular Pixel 2, it's gonna be the walleye. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this guy. And also I'm gonna go ahead and copy Majisk. So select your twerp zip file and also Majisk zip file. Go ahead and copy and copy it into the internal storage of your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and power off your phone and we're gonna put it back into the fast boot bootloader mode. Go ahead and hold down the volume down and then the power, just like before. All right, you should be on this screen. It should now say device state unlocked. Congratulations. Um, go back to your computer, go into your command prompt, go ahead and type fast boot space, boot space, go ahead and type TWRP and hit the tab key. All right, it will fill it out for you. And go ahead and hit enter. And this will boot your phone into Torp recovery. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Okay, you do not need um, your USB cable anymore. You can go ahead and take it out. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and go to keep read only, right? And you're gonna go ahead and go to install. And you're gonna go ahead and um, choose Tor Pixel Installer blah blah dot zip. All right, confirm to flash. This will flash the official Torp recovery permanently on your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. All right. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and hit the home button. And you're gonna go to install. And you're gonna go ahead and choose Majisk, which will root your phone. All right, go ahead and confirm flash. And that's pretty much it. Your phone should be fully rooted with Majisk and also Majisk Hide working, which means you can use Android Pay. Um, you can go ahead and play all the Pokemon games, all the Nintendo games that, you know, um, detect root using safety net. You'll be able to pass your safety net. All right, go ahead and go to reboot, do not install. Set this aside for a second here. And once rebooted, we should have fully rooted to Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. That was pretty easy, right? Um, so you guys should be done by now. Pat yourself on the back. And this method should, yeah, work on any Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. Also should work in the future. All right, once rebooted, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, here's the moment of the truth. Swipe up. And boom shakalaka, Majisk Manager. 
All right, go ahead and open it up. You'll see something like this. Go ahead and tap to start safety check. Say yes. And boom, shock lock. If you see both check marks, that means Majisk is working. It's also hiding root for you, which is really nice. Now, if you want to verify you have full root, you can go ahead and download any rooted app. And I'm going to go ahead and download Titanium Backup Root, which I also highly recommend for backing up your apps with data. Do look into Titanium Backup app, especially when you change ROMs often. That way you can keep your apps, back them up and restore them. So you don't have to start over with all of your apps. All right, go ahead and hit open and boom shakalaka. If you see this, you have fully rooted your Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL. And that's pretty much it. And now you do not need your computer. You can go ahead and download custom ROMs straight onto your phone and you can go ahead and install custom ROMs. Also, you can back up your custom ROMs. I do highly recommend. I'm getting a USB OTG cable. This one actually came with uh, my Samsung phone. Basically, you can back up all your ROMs into the flash drive so it won't take up space on your phone. So I will post a link on my tutorial on my site on how to back up and restore ROMs using Torp. So look into that also. Now, phones with fingerprints, um, when you back up and restore, Make sure you turn off your fingerprint and other securities because when you restore, um, they might actually block it. But that's pretty much it, folks. Have a great day. If you root it using my video, please hit that like button. Even if you didn't, if you thought this was very helpful, please hit that like button. I do highly appreciate it. I'll have a great day. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.